everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to be doing a little bit of a vlog today. I thought I would take you along. It's a very horrible wet day. We've had a lot of rain here recently. Um, all the fields by the house are flooded. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I am having a bit of a cosy day. Um, getting some bits and bobs done. Um, we recently decorated well actually not recently <laughs> we painted our lounge ages ago but we've started to like really finish the decorating in there now um i made a curtain which i showed in a previous vlog um and i've also made a blind which i will put up um some clips of the new blind um that i've made but yeah i've got a little bit of the fabric left from the curtain and the blind so i thought i might make a cushion um i'm planning to knit a few different cushions for um the lounge downstairs i've spoken about it in previous videos about doing the stella quilt cushion by penrose knits um so that's still on the cards but i could do with like quite a few cushions in there really i like a lot of cushions on the sofa <laughs> um so yeah i thought i would have a little go at doing that unfortunately there's not enough fabric left to make a cushion cover that fits any of the cushions that i have but i have quite a lot of um like toy stuffing like a lot of it upstairs in the loft so i thought i would just make a rectangular cushion which is the fabric that i've got really maybe with a frill and then i would just stuff it with polyfiller basically um and it won't be um like reusable because i'll obviously have to like sew it up so it'll be like permanently um like that but i think that's absolutely fine and i think it'd be really nice to have that cushion i also think there may end up being some fabric lefts and i've got some um like swatches of fabric that we were looking at when we couldn't decide like what to use for the blind and the curtain we got a few different swatches in the same kind of color tones so i have been wondering about maybe using any leftovers to make like a patchwork cushion because i'm a big fan of patchwork cushions i think they look really cute um but i don't know if i'll get around to that today so i think i'll just be making the rectangular cushion but i thought i'd take you along with me um, I've got some other plans as well today. I want to sit down and plan out um, my garden for the spring and summer, all the different things that I want to plant. So I'll probably take you along with me there as well. Um, so yeah, um, just a quiet little vlog on a rainy day. <laughs>
So um, I attempted a ruffle cushion <laughs> but the fabric is so thick because it's a um, like soft furnishings fabric. It's like a canvas for curtains and blinds um, basically the gathering threads just kept snapping and snapping and I couldn't gather the fabric in which is a real shame um but I would like to make a gathered cushion at some point so I think I'll probably make like a patchwork gathered cushion for that room which will look really pretty um I'll have a look through my fabric stash at some point and see what I've got um and make like a scrappy cushion I think um so yeah I've basically made the cushion sewed it together um I just need to stuff it but the stuffing is up in the loft <laughs> um and I need the ladder out of the garage to do that and blah 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 so I'm just gonna need to wait until my husband gets home to grab the ladder for me um because it's really heavy <laughs> um and then get the stuffing and then I will stuff it and sew up the little corner um so yeah um I'll probably show you that at some point maybe at the end of the vlog um if I get that finished um before I start editing this vlog I will show you um I it's a very it's just a very basic rectangular cushion <laughs> that's just gonna go in the middle of the sofa um but I think it should look nice I am a bit sad about the ruffle because I use quite a lot of like there was some fabric all the way down the side of the big piece of fabric that I got um because like the curtain the sorry the blind um I didn't need the full width of the fabric so there was this big chunk which I used to make the ruffle and um obviously that's like it's now dead <laughs> um it doesn't work um so I sewed it up into a ruffle only for it to break and um that means that I then can't I thought I could use that to make like a patchwork cushion um if I'd had that fabric but whatever I've used most of the fabric <laughs> I've made a curtain and a blind and I reused the back of the original curtain that was in the living room and the back of the original blind and all of the inserts for the blind so we've reused a load of stuff I've used up most of the fabric so <laughs> it's as sustainable as I can get it um so yeah hopefully this cushion will look nice on the sofa once I've had a chance to stuff it um but yeah, I think I am just going to go and get some lunch now. I've got some lovely homemade broccoli and cheddar soup um, and just have a little bit of a relax. I am very tired at the moment because I'm not sleeping very well. My chronic pain is quite bad and I'm not sleeping very well. So <laughs> I'm not really feeling up to much. I do need to give the dog a walk and I am tempted now it stopped raining quite so heavily to take her for a little wander before lunch. So maybe I'll take you guys along with me for that.
Hello everybody. Um, the lighting is terrible <laughs> because it's now dark outside and I've got this like lamp next to my head. Maybe if I come more this way it might be a bit less terrible. We've got um, a little friend. <laughs> Say hi Petty. <laughs> what is this tongue? This little bit of tongue? What is that? She regularly leaves her tongue just like casually hanging out the side of her mouth like a little little blap. Um, anyway, I was basically just too tired to go through all of my seeds and plan out the garden. I really need to start doing it soon because I basically need to start planting stuff in March. Um, I was getting a bit worried because I need to like chip my potatoes if I was going to get some spring potatoes. But I think I've basically decided not to bother with potatoes this year <laughs> um, because I just can't see myself getting much time in the next few weeks to start sorting out the garden so I think I'm just going to focus on seeds that need to be planted in March and some of those will start to do stuff we'll start to be able to harvest them by the end of May beginning of June and then hopefully go over the full summer so yeah um i sort of made a plan but i didn't really do much i basically just spent the afternoon um knitting because i'm just so tired we had a really full-on weekend um at a conference with our church and it was amazing but i am just like all week been trying to recover and i'm not sleeping very well at the moment it's quite common for people with um emmy um and fibromyalgia like i have um to not sleep very well and to have bad sleep and it's just been particularly bad for the last few months um i've been changing my diet a lot because that's part of this like next phase of treatment that i've been having with the optimum clinic um and i think all of that like different supplements all this kind of stuff it's just like my body's just sort of up and down up and down like trying to figure it out and get used to it and some of it's really really helping and some of it is um maybe i'm not sure if it's like causing it but some of it is um, maybe not helping quite so much um but yeah i've had a really nice afternoon just knitting i got some shots of that working on my yellow cardigan i realized though i'm wearing this like okra yellow jumper dress which i absolutely love that i made in the autumn it's so cozy it's so nice for like quiet days at home but i'm knitting a cardigan in basically the exact same color so now i look like i'm obsessed with this color <laughs> i do love this color i am a fan i do have it like like yellow is one of my favorite colors and in our living room we have um we have a dining table in our living room and we have a lovely gold tablecloth and there's gold in the um curtain and blind fabric i think i put in a shot earlier in the video didn't i um when i was talking about making the pillow of the fabric of the blind and stuff um and yeah i talked about it in my last video that i'm going to be knitting a cushion and one of the colors in the cushion is that lovely gold color so i'm definitely a fan of the color but i'm not normally like wearing the dress and then knitting the cardigan as well that cardigan is to go with dresses that have that color in it but aren't like that color because obviously then i'd look like a crazy yellow crayon <laughs> anyway um i am going to make some dinner now i think um we've got some leftover roast beef that we did at the weekend some beef brisket that i popped in the slow cooker so i'm just going to make up a shepherd's pie with that we've got some leeks and some carrots and things to go in it some potatoes to use up probably serve it with some peas good old traditional <laughs> british cottage pie evening especially as it's like really quite cold it's rained all day and the temperatures dropped massively it's like five degrees now it was about 10 or 11 i think the other day so it's really getting quite cold now so i think um a nice cottage pie and peas is going to be really nice and a relaxing quiet evening in with my husband when he gets back from work um so yeah that's the plan i might just say goodbye now because um i don't know like later after i finish cooking and stuff probably won't come back on camera so <laughs> thanks so much for watching i hope this was interesting i'm not really sure what i got today because it was a very quiet day i've been very tired it's a very honest day for what it's like living with chronic fatigue and how sometimes um you just need a really quiet slow day and i i have quite a lot of those to be honest so i hope you've enjoyed sort of like coming along with me um i didn't film me working um this morning 
so this is sort of like after i've done a few hours of work in the morning this vlog but i hope you enjoyed watching um and yeah um thanks so much guys um if you would like to um see my next videos because there's lots of nice exciting things coming up i think next video is going to be my january and february make so my first makes video of 2024 <laughs> um if you don't want to miss out on that make sure you subscribe um and you can also follow me on my instagram account to see like um I was gonna say like live updates but you know what I mean like regular updates of what I'm making and what I'm growing and what I'm doing and stuff um but yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye
Thank you.